Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. <clears throat> right. Recruits are available in zero days, so they're going to be arriving any time now, uh, which means we'll be able to get the uh, the Tiamat uh, loaded up. We've actually got another Tiamat very nearly produced. Uh, the the Tilung is, is resting up and then I need to decide what we're going to do with them. I do want to get over to the Rebuke. That's going to take a while to do that. And in the meantime, we'll be leaving this citadel here. Now, this citadel isn't really close enough to anything to to cause attitude changes over time, I don't think. This one here definitely will. Anu is going to be just generally disliking us. So, the sooner we can get back and, and take care of that, the better. But the... The one over this neck of the woods, we could, in theory, leave it. It does mean that the Sanitrian Havens over here are going to be at, at risk. But, you know, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, once we've rested up here, in fact, I can, I can start time moving forward. Once we've rested up, uh, we're going to need to get these excavating. Uh, so we can do that on the way back, actually. <coughs> The team is back and ready to rest. Recruits still aren't available yet. That's the training facilities finished being repaired. More things are becoming visible, so we can definitely make it down here. And where do we want to drop off the tier map? We could actually drop it here. Grab the guys who are left over and take them out to the other points it would be slow so not actually our best usage whereas phoenix transfer point we could directly recruit to so yeah we'll we'll put it here look at that they're ready for the recruits just as soon as we can get them any moment now ooh agile grenade launcher one action point to use. It has definitely the potential for some nasty stuff. 50 blast, 10 tread. Just think about it. Boom blast and the ability to reload quickly. I mean, the downside is, of course, carrying all of the grenades. That's the, the big problem you're going to face. So I don't know. More of a novelty gun, I think, that one. Wow, we still not got recruits available. We're getting quite a lot of protein mutane, which is great. And the team is resting up quite nicely. And there's no medical facility here, so actually you guys should be moving on. Let's, uh, let's pull you up. Actually, you could rest here and, like, properly heal up. There's the Vidar. There's the rounds. Construction complete. Wow, those recruits still aren't available. Soon. Just not complete. soon enough. Cool, mist repellers are available. That's gonna that's gonna help over here. Um especially with this being so bloody close. How are you guys doing? You're almost ready to send out. PHB2 will be attacked in 24 hours. Okay, I guess we're gonna go over there and repel that one first. You guys can actually go and do that repelling. You should be able to make it there in time. So in the meantime... You can come down and actually take care of this thing. And that's going to be a big, big step forwards for us. So yeah, Anu like us a lot less because we still haven't dealt with that that damn uh, 
Oh yeah, this one is now going to start making Sinedrian hate us. That's fine. That's a that's a minor minor inconvenience. Right, get this excavating. Come across to this one. Get that excavating, and then come up to PHB two. Hey, the recruits are available. Great. Okay, so we want them over where we've got our Tiamats. That's here. Phoenix transfer point one. So not Phoenix point, not R&D, not Foxtrot. Phoenix transfer point one. That's where they're going. We're getting an engineer and a berserker. These guys are literally just coming on board to crew up the Tiamats. Oh no. It did one at Phoenix Transfer Point 1 and then it did the other one. Over at Phoenix Point. Oh, that's that's frustrating. Okay, well. It is what it is, we'll just have to, to work with it. So, get you to the quarry. There's the other tier mat. Okay. And yeah, you've got a long way to go. While you're over there, you may as well grab the other ones. If I deployed down here, it wouldn't be a problem. Research complete. There's the Vita Grenade. 50 heal within a 3 tile impact. It's an interesting idea, but it's something that I think would be much better off early game. Uh, and a lot of these uh, these technologies, they come so late game that I don't think that they're particularly useful. Which is always going to be a shame. Yeah, I'm happy with with what we've got being researched at the moment. Okay, 15 hours until the base gets invaded. You guys have got plenty of time to get there. We're now gathering from the quarry. A Sinedrian Haven is under attack. Yeah, this is kind of what I was worried about. 13 hours. We've got enough time to turn back, get it, and then get back over here, I think. think. It's a shame you can't get a, an ETA. No, we don't, we won't have enough time. We're only just going to make it there as it is. So yeah, sorry guys, you're on your own. We do have the corrupted lair to take out though. So our scouts have found a lair that's been occupied by an Acheron. Our goal is simple, destroy the corrupted spawnery so we can collect a pure sample of the corruption virus from it. Sinedrian operatives have been sighted entering the location. They might be of assistance to our mission. We are going in guns blazing. Um, I do feel like it would be worth us potentially curing some of the more experienced people, but... I don't think it's actually going to be that that bad in terms of what we're losing. Maybe Maria. Ah hell, why not? I'll I'll do the big ones. Uh, I don't think we're going to really want captures, but it's not going to hurt us. In fact, we're not going to. Yeah, we're not going to take them with us at the end, so probably better if we do that. Let's swap that over. Paralysis can be useful situationally, but 
think this is going to be as as good as we get. Have a little bit more strength. Let's get in. So this is going to be my first time seeing this mission. We're, we've got a very strong team. So I'm not massively worried about what we might face. It is a spawnery mission. There is a lot of unknown in the area. It's probably over there it's going to be. And obviously we've got a large number of, of mobs. And everyone's stopping. <laughs> Right, you, first of all, are close and dangerous. So let's do something about you. Ready to fire. A nice marking for death, and we can do some quick aims. Just to just to pepper him down. We're not gonna just like take out the face or anything like that. He's gonna die quick enough with just quick shooting to the back. Steady. Target is still active. We can only do one more quick aim, so actually let's just Steady. Stick with a regular attack. Because we're doing extra damage, it is worth us shooting with this. I think we're probably going to start moving in with other people. That's one big problem taken care of. I'm wondering precisely what the... Uh, Visibility is going to be like on some of these. That's not terrible, actually. Not a problem. Just give the word. Yeah, go, go centre mass. We got him in the leg anyway, so it's kind of what I wanted to get just by accidentally shooting the wrong part of him. Let me see. Missed. That's... Ah. The frustration is real. Step in here with Lola. What can you see? That's a sketchy shot, but go for it. Sure. Not the shot I would have expected, but we'll definitely take it. All right, so these guys are going to move around, come closer. We didn't really utilize the frenzy, you know, mostly staying in place, but... get closer then we'll have more monsters that we can kind of chain off. Oh cool you're gonna jump closer mate. Really jumping closer. That's a Sinedrian guy I assume. So there's definitely more acorns around. I don't know which we're going to consider priorities. 
probably the one that we can see. Or Sinitra in person. not a particularly good shot mate. Are you just like shooting in between its legs? Okay, you're sniping. That was actually a really good one. And then following up with a pistol. Nice. Just like we discussed. Taking offensive action. More Sinedrian buddies. Some kind of poison. They might be able to take that out by itself. Okay, um... Let's work out where Hilda can get to. So Hilda can get all the way over to this. So if we dash, and then dash, we can start smacking things and cleaning up around here with rapid clearance. We're not going to be able to dash again, but we can you know, keep these guys alive. And get some decent scouting as well, is what I'm thinking. So he's going to turn into some horrible doom thing. That's fine. Probably didn't need to come all the way down here, but I will. We can we can borrow all three of those and then take a shot. Well, we probably won't be able to get a shot off, but we can borrow all three of those and then come back over here, I guess, and put our shield down. Okay, let's let's see. We want to mark it for death, so who's gonna be a good choice for that? Amina, can you see it? Yes, you can. Mark it for death. So starting with this Sinedrian assault. Legs, good choice. Other leg, also good choice. Yes. Here. This one at the back, it's a shame. Such a shame that he was in a not brilliant position. Getting good damage off with this. Can't wait. Ooh, you've got paralysis. It is tempting. Ooh, and you can quick aim as well. Ready to engage. Okay, three legs disabled. Hey, Sinedrian person, you are not done. I'm ready. 
We are going to quick aim with this and Let's just get this over with. do everything else that we can. It may not be much paralysis, but it'll help. And a bit of overwatch for this thing standing up them. as well. Herbert. I mean, every every strike is good, so that's perfect. Hmm. Yeah, we do two quick games. We should be able to take this out, and then it's just about the guy on, on the base. And we might have to retreat and, and let one of the Sinejuan guys get launched on. Right. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have uh, I should have seen if we could have got and Hilda to do something. Actually, no, Hilda wouldn't be able to do anything. Right. Hilda, because of the guys that are here, I'm actually going to get you to back up so you don't get nommed. That should be enough. This guy's going to unfortunately get stabbed in the face. Unless we can set up some kind of overwatch for him, but no. Don't know if there's anything we can really do to help out there. Targeting. Leg disabled. Bit of a hit on the pincer. It's a bit sketchy. Right, Eduardo. Oh, you can actually see this guy. Let's have a look. It's not a brilliant angle or shot. But it is all helping. Uh, you can see the one over there. Zooming in. That's not bad actually. Give it a go. Oh, unfortunate. Felt like a 50-50 shot. Didn't get it. Um, now this guy doesn't actually have a gun. So we can do a quick aim shot on someone and then have him do the overwatch. Alright, let's have a look around and see what we've got in terms of overwatch we haven't put on. There's potential overwatch here. Let's go like that. There is still that um, acre on over the far right, uh, but I don't think we're going to be able to do anything. I'm here. Uh, Eduardo, yeah, you've got. That you can do. Got you covered. I think that's, that's pretty much it. Don't think that's going to be worth it, but we'll we'll see what happens. 
So the first of the tar shadows. Okay, a bit of paralysis, that will help. Oh, what? Of course. Disables the leg. Sinedrian guys are happy that we're right there. And that Umbra's going elsewhere. Okay, it is still poisoned. And it's managed to acid itself up. What a weird thing. Ow! I can't stop the bleeding. More poison. Definitely good. Not so good shooting this. Yeah, that's, they're just not geared to shoot these. They end up pinging at the legs. What are we doing? Hmm. Well, you should probably heal your, your face up, but we'll do that after we've taken this thing out. Clearance on. Man, that leg disabling is is frustrating. Oh, you know what? I I should have been putting everyone on um, quick aim before doing any of these little fighty bits. That also totally wasn't worth it for the um, rapid clearance. Totally not worth it. Let's tuck in over here with Hilda. I want to stay mostly out of sight. Oh cool, we can see it. Right at the back. So yeah, we're, we're gonna need to get people closer before we really address it as a problem. from where you are. That should be okay. Disabled his leg. I did not expect that. See up there. Okay, let's um, let's try and take his arm off and that shield. There we go. Going in. That means we can be a little bit more brazen with our attacking. Oh, it's not amazing. No. Panic is coming. Let's 
start Let's moving rock. the other guys in. Target located. Okay, that is a worry. But we'll be fine as long as uh ready. As long as we're careful. He got a gun, he does have a gun. So we need to watch out for him. Moving now. Get into here for now. I don't think from high up we'd be able to get decent angle on that. Maybe over where Hilda is. But yeah, being being up on top seems to be a good place to be for that. I'm assuming once we've got it eliminated, we're going to need to evac people. Oh, if you've got a straight line down the center. That hurt, didn't it? Start whittling it down. That is, that is golden. Yeah, you can you can get closer. Being up here you're in danger of getting shot from somewhere, but I don't know where that sniper is. I know that you can see from here though. And fr not from here. Okay, come back. And put your shield out. I think that's possibly all we're going to manage. Beyond some like janky Overwatch fire. Okay, he's recovered down below. You've only just appeared, you can't move far. Overwatch in lots of places. Sinedrian guys doing what they can. Is that a new Sinedrian sniper? Stop, stop shooting this. Such a bad shot. Yeah, you're going to be in a lot of trouble if you don't do something about this thing. That hurt, didn't it? Lining up a shot. Okay, try again. I don't mind if it mind controls someone as long as, like, then immediately afterwards it gets wasted. Oh. That's just weak. Cool. 
Got him in the face. Let's uh, tuck you into cover. He's going on Overwatch in the wrong direction, so you can pop up. Yeah, we don't care about that thing. And yeah, we'll just put a shot into him. Oh, we can hop back down. Cool. Stay out of sight then. That is the smart play in this situation. Uh, if we come across, we can get a quick aim. Yeah. And possibly, if we revealed something else. Alright, let's see what this shot is like. I'm sure it's not going to be nice. Oh, actually, target? that's... That is straight. Great. I have no words. Moving to position. That was stunning. Okay, so we could start whittling down the shell. That's not going to be very useful. Not an efficient use of ammo at all. I think what we want to do is we want to actually get in closer. We've got a lot of a lot of distance to try and cover to do that. Let's uh, look at some other safety measures first. Okay, that's a good safety measure. So we're going to step round to here. Hang on, how can you not see anymore? Oh, I must be just tucked behind one of those bits. Fine, we can come across and we'll get a quick aim. Got you. Right, he's dead, he just doesn't know it yet. Let's go. Because what we need to think about is this one down here and how we're gonna I'm here. how we're gonna tackle him. Operative on the move. And it might just be trying to get a smart overwatch up. Bringing Hilda down to help out over here would be a smart move. We can get in, we can set some overwatch. What are we doing? You've also got the ability to walk in right up front. You're already injured, so it doesn't matter too much. You might Just get, get shot. Over with. But Stopping that from mind controlling. Makes me feel a lot better about it. Go on over watch like that. And Eileen, I need to to bring you in. Actually, if I get Eileen to like up here, we could do a. Well, actually, we need two two action points if we're going to do a quick aim shot down on this guy. So that's not going to work. We could come up here and. We could overwatch for him moving. 
I think what we might have to do is we might have to just step out. And across. And then overwatch back the way we came. Okay, I thought that might happen. I'm glad it missed. Really glad it missed. And on that, you're actually invisible, which is kind of bad for us. So I don't know how we're going to mitigate that. getting him to move a little bit. It's not really helping much, but... It is what it is. And that's pretty much all we can do. So he's dying. He'll turn into a tar shadow. The siren's recovering because it panicked. That's good. That gives us time for everyone else. Actually, one of the better things that could have happened for us there. Also, he's kind of gotten in the way of, of this guy. Not much, but just a little. You're hopping up. There's the Overwatch shot. Down he goes. That's the sniper. Youch. We're going to apply some healing, definitely. And they've got another siren coming in. Ugh. Ugh. Really not very bad, that. So he's still running around doing weird mist things and gooing. Direct action. Eventually, they're going to make it bleed out enough. Okay. So, Hilda, you're you're in a lot of pain. to do much. It is a shame that you got so injured by that. I mean, we could go full, full risky and run up next to this thing and do a quick aim in its face. Yeah, we can we can kill it. We could also do mind control, but I think killing is going to be preferable in this situation. It's going to die on its turn. So that's all we really care about. This thing is going to appear and it's going to come running over this way. So I think we want 
to set up some overwatches. Herbert, you're going to join the party. So yeah, there's, there's another Umbra right at the back that's just being weird. Still can't quite see that, that's amusing. Maria, up you come as well. Okay, so in terms of close by things, that is the obvious Moving. one that we want to hit. Obviously, you're going to need to apply some healing soon. Double kill there, mate. Really good. Maybe it would actually be worth taking a shot down here, if only to try and like disable that gun. It'll be draining their will as well, which is also something I'm keen on. You're panicked and dying anyway. Let's, let's, make let's just run in. Fun. Unusual path, but okay. Hey, at last the sniper is free. I'm not sure about this. Okay. <laughs> Car shadow is on the move. It is not going the way I expected. Man, it moves far. Mm, more reinforcements coming in. This thing really isn't well. Guys, you've nearly got it. Think of it as reverse solidarity. Applying kinetics. Mm, they have such bad shots against these things. The AI needs Another tweaking. Direct action. It needs tweaking so badly. So I think they wanted this mission to be like um, the Pandorans against Sinedrian, uh, like a constant constant battle back and forth. Um, it just doesn't quite feel that way. Well, we can actually get to a point where we can see the target. So that's nice. I am going to grab that. I'm 
will start doing some damage on it. But we uh, we really need to get more people in there. In fact, if we get to here, we can get a missile on it. And start some pretty nice shred going. Why is that not working for the angle? Game, you are being weird and I am not trusting you. Minus 10 armor. On the body, nothing on the shell, that's fine. The body is really where we want most of our work to be done. Let's go. Target hit. Yeah, more shredding. Mina, I think we're going to get you to, like, here. Actually, no. Here's probably fine. They can't stop me! Once we've got a decent amount of shredding, you can do shotgun blasts, is what I'm thinking. That looks like it's going to be a nice... Solid set up. Saving loud and clear. What's our plan? If we step back a bit, you can actually get the kill and get the benefit. Let's do this. And also we can like guarantee that the kill happens by shooting it somewhere where we have to die. <laughs> So, big will point changes for all the Pandorans. Panic at the back, that's great. Let's return to what we were doing. Get to the front over here, I think. Oh, we can't come around that way. If you can't come around that way, why even, like, come towards this way? Because I'm just going to put a bleed on your tail. over here. You're all good. On to the assaults. You can step out, take a shot, and then step back. I think I got in some damage. That will slow it down quite nicely. Uh, next turn you need to do healing. Shot I was hoping for. Tuck yourself into cover. Ready. Got this. We might be able to kill it this turn. Cool. More miners will on. Pandorans. That's going to be annoying with them behind us, but hopefully they don't have an angle. Lucky out. 
hopes. <laughs> Insignificant damage. Um, uh, quite significant damage, but, you know, I appreciate you putting on a brave face. <laughs> That's not too bad. He is behind cover, though, which is going to be frustrating. Make it on yourself makes sense. Carrying on shooting the Umbra also makes sense. That should have killed it because of the amount of damage we did on it before. Ah! Oh dear, he's waking up that thing. I was hoping he would go after the actual uh, the actual target, but can't have everything, I guess. So what we want to do is we want to mark this for death. Then, Eduardo, get your stripping in first. Success. It's maximum stripping damage. Who's next? You can get some stripping with another missile. Minus six armor. I don't think there was really much left yet. So all of the armor is gone from that. Sketchy. Sketchy, but it worked. Okay, the accuracy is enough that we can quick aim this four times and just smack it up. With Mark for Death, this is going to do a lot of damage. It's 580 right there. Zooming in. Just keep that focus right on the body. Got lucky. Attempting to acquire target. Damn. Well, I think we know what technique works. Time for some quick aim pistol shots. Two more of these to do, or one more quick aim and one more regular pistol shot. There goes the spawnery. Now we need to get out. So let's um, let's go to Hilda first, because Hilda is kind of the most in danger. <coughs> We're gonna have Sinedrian cover our escape. We're gonna recover over here, so we can do a frenzy on everyone. And our evac point is over here, and we know that Sinedrian's already over there helping.
Let's go. Moving in quick. Okay, Eileen. Hey, you're gonna come this way as well. Sinedrian Assault. I did say you were gonna heal up. Let's show them what we can do. Can you actually see this guy? Oh, not badly, actually. Not amazingly, but... In enough of an interesting way, I'd say. Moving out. If you step a bit over to there. This better work. Yeah, go for the arm. Why can't I hit anything? Missed it, that's rather unfortunate. You're kind of stuck where you are. Try and get any paralysis on. There we go. That'll help. I think that's that's all we've got. You can overwatch in case someone moves. So I was worried that this screen would be too close to our people, but I think we're fine. Smart. Ow! They are in a much better oh. position. We need to move these guys. You know, I hope you guys aren't just going to leap. I need you to cover my escape. <sighs> okay. There's the frenzy that I was talking about. Uh, we will move closer first. Let's get to let's get to here before we activate it. That'll get the most of our people. Herbert. Uh, yes. So you're gonna get to there. It wants to take you this way. It's okay, just keep going. Actually, you know what? Stay behind cover. As much as possible. Watch we'll come out, this I'm way and grab in. a couple of other soldiers that we can throw into the mix. You can actually make it pretty damn far. So let's keep up with that. Frenzy is so, so useful.
it is a little tempting to send someone in to try and grab whatever's in here. Who would be closest? Amina would be closest. Could Amina be the fastest? Actually, Lola's going to be pretty fast. Let's send Lola in, see what there is. Take the mutagen pack. Uh, we'll take the other watcher. And the PDW. And I'm not I'm not massively enamoured by it, but So this thing's obviously gonna scream, which sucks, but At least we get a little bit of loot on the way. If we come here, can we neurally disrupt it? Stop it screaming, perhaps. I don't know if that's actually going to stop it screaming. I suspect it won't. But I'm curious. Over here... Oh god, what are we going to do? Right, that Triton Marksman is just like a no. Why, why can you not... Oh, because you need to reload. Well, if you're going down, mate, you're going to go down fighting as much as possible. Not brilliant shooting. Not terrible shooting, but definitely not brilliant. your grenade range so we could get a grenade actually up onto this mm. let's um let's just call that an abject failure leave it as it is He's still there, he's just up on the, up on the top. Let's try this. Which means with a better grenade actually get him. I think we got them both. That's unfortunate, but to be expected. Right, Mr. Assault over here. Reloading. Reload. And Dashing ahead. Start getting in the way. We only lose five war points for that, so it's not too bad. But we definitely don't want it all the time. I can't. I can't move right. Going through a lot of pain right now. <laughs> if he'd survived another turn, I would have been absolutely astounded. How's that 
for Praxis. So the Sneedrian guy is not particularly skillful, is, is what this is teaching me. Also not very efficient with their usage of, uh, of things. Okay, I need to move Lola first. Because Lola's got zero willpower left, and if Lola's going to panic, I want it to be over here. Channel open. If Maria wasn't quite as far away, I'd be tempted to try and do an onslaught. But we would have to get quite far back. Well, I suppose we could dash back and then do an onslaught. Couldn't we? Oh, I see. Yeah, with that there, it's actually directly blocking blocking the path, so everyone else has to go that way around. Well, that's inconvenient. I picked the wrong way to go. We might be able to get an onslaught if we come into here. That was a double click, which is not what I wanted. All set. Damn it. What a complete waste. Double time. Alright, well we'll just we'll just try and take people out. Moving as fast as I can. Quicker as we can get them out. I don't think anyone's going to suffer an injury. We might waste a turn with people resting up. But it should be pretty straightforward to get out now. We've faced all the big threats. The only, uh, the only other potential issues is Sinedrine causing panic, reinforcements arriving at a weird place, that kind of stuff. Okay, guys, what are we going to get you doing? This better work. Surprised that arm still is intact. There we go. Went out fighting, mate. You went out fighting. Lola still hasn't panicked. I'm honestly surprised. Haha. <laughs> We finally, finally the poison got to that Triton. I do need to watch out for that Umbra. I think we should be far enough away. Just need to make sure we don't do anything foolish. Think of it as reverse solidarity. Whereas Sinedrian, they're they're basically just using this place as target practice. Until they've run out of ammo, I assume. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's um, let's just get people out. Reduce the load on the map. 
So you're gone. Herman, we need you tucking into cover as you get out. Lola, you're gonna just maximize your run to the exit. This guy can tuck in just over here. So he's ready to face the Arthurin that's coming in. Uh, Maria, yeah, you could just go. Get these two out first. Hilda, shame about your leg, but good job nevertheless. Eduardo, can you make it? Yeah, you can. And then we'll bring all of the Symmetrium forces forwards. No choice but to keep going. I have to move. Okay, so at the moment we've only got two soldiers left. And they are not in a bad place. The angles for covering over here is not great. Let's get the sniper up on top. Guess it's my turn. What's our plan? And you guys, Sprint I'm going to send round. Stay in, in actual cover there. Ready. You, Mr. Assault, can come across. <laughs> We're going to get the Sinedrian Assault guy to step out and run that overwatch. Unless we can just, like, take it out a different way. They're scooching around the edge of the map, aren't they? This guy's still going for his target. Completely oblivious to everything else. I don't think they want to talk. I'm here. Okay. Okay, try and take off the arm. Did not work. Get off me! Get away! Leave me alone! Need a better position. Well, we thought that might happen. It sucks, but at the same time, it's all right. We can carry on moving forwards, and we do have other guys that can kind of cover cover the angle. You know what? I'm going to move you all the way up. Making haste. Acquiring 
firing target. Yeah, I'm not convinced that that's actually a shot that's going to work. So let's instead do some Overwatch. <gasps> Not the overwatch that I was anticipating. We are such bad friends. We're basically just just setting Sinedrian up to get murdered so we can escape. Dude, it's not hurting anyone. Just just leave it be. Engaging. Okay, it looks like Sinedrian, yeah, does keep getting reinforced. Oops. They're just not anywhere, anywhere as strong as the, uh, the Arthrans. Moving right, now. Mr. Assault, you're stepping in. Far away as you can. I think we're gonna do some more Overwatch, but it's gonna be at this bit here. The siren stepping out. I am a little worried about the Umbra, but... Oh, he went around that way. Not what I expected, but... Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, uh. An obvious choice for the Sneedrian guy. Shame about the missing, though. I would say a not so obvious choice, but he's been doing this consistently, so. Taking offensive action. Well done, mate. You finally got your target. It's only taken the entire game. Okay, so problems. You need to go after Wiring this. Target. I can't afford to have it close. Lola, just get out. We're not taking any risks. Yeah, just get out. Herman, you can't quite make it, but you can tuck yourself into cover nicely and you can get out next turn. This guy is panicked, which is cool. 
but this might be better. Nice. You meant I meant for you to shoot his gun. Targeting. Gotcha. Bit of paralysis. That helps. Uh, as for this Sinedrian assault guy. Pull him in and we'll go on Overwatch like this. Providing Overwatch. Got this covered. So I, I can't see a way that um, that we'll end up losing anyone. The Sinedrian guy, on the other hand. I think he's in a lot of trouble. He got stabbed in the face. He's still alive, though. So is the Sinedrian guy that's been going after that one target going to go after the Siren now? Make it first. Yep. I don't think they want to talk. That for Praxis? Not bad. Almost got him in the face. And they have a new sniper. What's their plan? There is no point in uh, in taking any more shots, but I wanted to try. Out you go, Herman. Oh wait, do these count as Phoenix Optimus now? Because that's kind of amusing if that's the case. Acquiring target. Shot one wide. At which point I'm definitely gonna evac them. If these count as my guys now, out you come. Leave whoever's left behind behind. At which point we can consider this a recruitment mission, I guess. <laughs> no, my word. Survived another stab. I mean, he's going to die, but. Tough cookie. Bleeds out. Right. Out you go. Heading out. And the last assault as well. A solid mission. A lot harder than normal spawneries, but uh, I think we uh, we did quite well. Finally, it's over. After fighting our way through the lair, we found the spawnery which the first Acheron had infected and obtained a clean sample of the corruption strain. It wasn't easy by any means. The processing power of the entire Phoenix project went into analyzing a strain to find a cure, but we succeeded. An inoculation process began, first on our troops, then our allies, and finally on anyone who wished to have it. Our aircraft flew over the globe, releasing potent antiviral solutions over corpses and battlefields. You know, to eradicate every trace of corruption until there was none. Now, long after the first Acheron specimen escaped from some unknown research facility, the horror is over. Humanity won this battle, but the larger war rages on. So our mission was a glorious success. Now the final ingredient for devising a permanent cure for the corruption strain is in our hands. And we can research. Terra Sentinel. So, actually, yeah, with that, we still have 
people corrupted. Do we have to, to manufacture it or? I would have expected there to be another another research thing. Or maybe it's just people can't get more corrupted now. I thought the corruption would be gone completely. Interesting. Well, we're going to have to uh, answer that question next time, I think. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.